Hi, I'm Minda Smiley with The Drum. We're here at McCann Health in New York for The Drum's Do It Day Hack, where we have three teams working on a brief to destigmatize mental health. Let's see what they came up with. I'm very excited about the reaction that I've gotten. Uh, each of the three groups uh, began to take things in a slightly different direction, uh, but they all looked at the objectives to promote before stage four and the call to action uh, to try to move people in the direction of screening and screening the supports, and I think dug right in, and I'm really pleased with that. Yeah, I don't know what to expect because we haven't had this kind of talent uh, put its head around or collective heads around this concept uh, since we initiated it. But what I'm hoping for uh, are some ideas that are creative that really help us build the constituency for early identification and intervention around mental health that help demystify it and, uh, and help people to take action to maintain their mental health and to deal with mental health problems as soon as they come. I'm hearing a lot of ways in which people are going to get to young people either directly to those young people, and I'm talking teenagers here, or to their parents, or to their teachers, or to others, and I think they're doing it in a way with some interesting, oh, conceptual tidbits that I'm going to see whether or not are fleshed out. You've got to stay focused. Uh, once you start diving into uh, mental health, it becomes very big and very expansive, and one size doesn't fit all. There's not going to be the perfect idea that reaches everybody all at the same time, all in the same way. And if you think you got that, chances are it's not going to sell as well as the idea that picks a specific population and a specific concept or two and tries to drive those things home. The lack of um, traditional media. The fact that the team has went straight to contemporary, modern social media that engages, embraces and drags people into the world that we want to be in. There was nothing that relied on big money, there was nothing in there that relied on the need to be spending money in, in media domains that would just drain the creativity. And because of that, what we saw were a series of engagement programs, content programs, I'm using those lightly because I want to describe the work too quick, but it got them to a solution very quickly. We chose the uh, avatar that one group wanted to create. They wanted to create that though using a new test that we don't think is available with some support from professionals that may not also be available to every child. Um, but we tried to couple that with a strengths-based approach around mental wealth that another group took uh, because that's one that can go at not only helping the kids but also helping the people who support children, the parents, the teachers, and the other non-professionals in their lives who need to be uh, advancing the best that's in those kids. I think the positive part of all this is there's no time. When there's no time and no money, brilliance starts to bubble up pretty quick because nobody's overthinking, no one's over-egging. So two simple ideas mashed together with an umbrella idea, it already puts a caveat on where we're looking for them to go. Once you've got something you can start with, you can start to build all the pieces that make the, the meat for the bone. Well, I think if we can lead up to the 16th with a clear understanding about how that concept of mental wealth might be developed, uh, it'll be ready to go with uh, very little cost but a lot of energy behind it. And I think if we had the avatar uh, as, the, as one of the calls to action, something that we can do for our young people, and, uh, and our kids and make this available, I think, on the 16th and beyond November 16th. That's going to be a very important piece of the puzzle to helping kids toward mental health.